everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanna answer the question that I've been getting a lot lately. If you've been following me for the last couple of months and you noticed that I just opened up um, a women's, tall women's clothing store online called CAS Clothing. And I have been getting hit up on Instagram, Facebook, emails, asking me how do I fit it all in. So I wanna to talk to you about that today. The question of how do I balance it all? How do I fit it all in? How am I doing it all? The answer is simple. I'm not. <laughs> I think we live in a society that, you know, we're all about, I woke up like this, right? And that's not the truth. You know, when we're on social media, when we're on the internet, we are, you know, getting a snapshot of someone's life and it might look perfect, but you have no idea. So like, I'll give you an example for this video. I cleaned up right here <laughs> everywhere else is patterns over here i have to organize it's crap all over the floor because i'm constantly sewing for myself or for a client and i just haven't taken the time to clean up but you see this you see this clean area that i have prepared for this video or for this instagram poster for this and that you know and i'm referring to everything you see on social media but what you don't see is the chaos you know, so there are times that my house isn't as clean as I'd like for it to be. So I want you to get that idea out of your head. Someone messaged me on Facebook a few days ago asking me this very question. And I told her, you know, there's there's this idea of perfection. There's that you can balance, that you can juggle everything. It's just not realistic. If you have a lot of things on your plate and really it doesn't really need to be that many, it's just the simple fact that some things are going to fall through the cracks. Okay, that's just it. Um, I look cute today, but I don't look like this every day. <laughs> there are days that I wake up and I'm a little late and I don't wear my makeup. And, you know, I might be walking around looking a little frumpy. You know, not that I want to. It's just that's just the hand that life dealt me the day, that day. You know, I chose to put my focus into something else. Um, I do want to talk a bit about my day a typical what a typical day looks like for me so one thing that you probably don't know about me is that I still work a full-time job yes <laughs> I am actually filming this video on my lunch break because I live pretty close to my office so I ran home here I had everything set up and I just sat down and hit record when I finish talking to you I'm going to stop my camera and go back to work and finish the work day I'll get to why I do that in just a second but I do still work a full-time job. My husband works a full-time job and our daughter goes to daycare. So when we get up in the morning, usually during the week, we're getting ready for um, work and things like that. And I'll put on some hot water for a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I really enjoy starting my day with something hot to drink. I really enjoy fragrant, teas but not really florally ones i don't really like to feel like i'm drinking potpourri and i really 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 like to do this because you know especially now that it's cold outside it's just to start my day with something warm but to me it's not about caffeine or anything like that it's just this mental trigger that says okay you are ready to start your day once i have my cup of something hot then it's time to turn on and turn up and i start getting to work or I get to work. It just depends on what's going on. Um, if I'm at home, what I like to do is while my water is boiling and while I'm, while I'm sipping my tea or coffee, I like to listen to podcasts. I listen to podcasts all the time. I could not tell you what song was on the radio right now because that's just not what I do. When my daughter's in the car with me, I'm either listening to a Looney Tunes DVD or I'm listening to a podcast if I'm by myself. So I'm constantly listen, listening to podcasts, bettering myself, getting more knowledge about my business, about just you know self-development and self-care. So once I'm at work, I work. I'm engaged in my job. On my lunch break, this is why I mentioned this earlier, on my lunch break, I'm doing stuff for my business. I'm running an errand. I'm running an errand for my business, for my household. I may go to the grocery store really quickly um, to pick up something. I am running an errand, I'm doing something for our household or for my business. I maximize every minute that I possibly can. It is rare that I sit down and have 
a social lunch during the week. It just really doesn't happen unless I'm doing that with my uh, co-workers because we're having a welcome lunch for a new person or something like that. Other than that, I maximize my time. When I get off work, I pick up my daughter and I'm on mommy duty. And my husband comes home a little later than I do during the week. So I give my baby girl all to myself. I do not start my business activities until she goes to bed, which is 7.30, 8 o'clock ish. When my daughter goes to bed, I usually come straight into my sewing room or I hop straight on the computer to edit a YouTube video, to do some blogging, to update some stuff on the website, to you know schedule social media. I'm doing something when it relates to one of my businesses. Then once that wears down, I spend some time with my husband and we go to bed. If on some level, I still have something that is absolutely pressing that I have to get out and get done the next day, then I'll hop up out of bed once he's asleep and I will take care of that. Sometimes that takes me about till midnight or something like that. I'm gonna tell you, I ain't about that team no sleep life. I need my sleep. Okay, so I get about six to seven hours of sleep per day. And the reason sleep is very important to me because I work a full time job and I come straight home and I have to be mom. I have to be engaged and alert and make sure that I'm present with my daughter to make sure that she's safe and taken care of. So I'm not about that three to four hours of sleep per night type of life. That ain't me. Okay, I left that behind during maternity leave. I ugh. Don't take me there again. So I get my sleep. The reason I get my sleep is because I prioritize my day. My life is planned, not to a T, but it's planned enough to keep me focused. And so the goals that I have for the day, week, month, and year help me to focus the tasks that I need to complete to make sure that these goals are met when I plan to get them met. So that is why I have to utilize every stinking little minute of the day in between to do what I can. Notice that you haven't heard me say, oh, I sit down and I watch television. I don't. It's not very often that I sit down and I watch television or I accept a last minute house guest. You know, someone calling and saying, hey, I'm in your area, can I stop by? <laughs> nine times out of ten the answer is going to be no because like I said my time is usually spoken for at least a couple of weeks in advance I also plan to do nothing and when I look at my calendar and I see that I've had a swarm of stuff to do I've been to some events or I've just had a ton of stuff to do I will schedule nothing and that nothing is for my family that nothing is not for me to go and hang out. That's for me to be engaged with my family, with my husband and with my daughter. That's how I balance it all. I don't. I prioritize, I identify goals, and I create tasks to help me meet those goals. I maximize the little bit of time that I have and I have a routine for the most part um, of my day and I minimize not eliminate I'm not completely refusing any what anybody but I minimize interruptions to my plan if you have not signed up for my five day it's free e-course where I send you emails once a day for five days showing you how to start your own sewing business then you can sign up at the link in the description box I have gotten some wonderful feedback. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are scared, if you need some more guidance about starting your own business or taking it to the next level, sign up for my course. I'm not selling you anything. I just want to pump you with motivation, information, homework. Yes, you have homework to implement the things that I discuss on that particular day. And I'm just, I just wanna empower you. I want you to learn from my mistakes and I email those ladies and I'm very transparent in my emails you know and I think I want to start doing some videos as well so if you're interested in that and you've made it all the way through this video just comment below let me know what you want to hear ask me your questions give me your requests and I will do a video for you but if you really want the meat of taking yourself from the next level from hobby to business then sign up at that link below. I promise you, you will not be sorry. So 
I am going to turn my camera off and go back to work and I will see you guys later. Bye.